Hello guys and gals, and we're back with more Pokemon card openings. This time we open we will be opening these two booster packs of Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. Let's just check the backs real quick. These haven't been opened yet. Uh, let's see. The price of these actually went up from three fifty to four dollars and ten cents each. So um that's inflation for you. So let's see, we had, that's weird, Giganimax Rillaboom, okay, and we just, meant better opening these one-handed, one hand to hold the phone, there we go, uh, there we go, oh, that's, um, Toxtricity, uh, low, um, um, not the amped form, the other one, like low tide or, um, I forget what they're called, actually. So let's see, we have Toxtricity and Rillaboom. Let's... And we're going to also just confirm that these haven't been opened. Still factory sealed. So anyways, um, I'll get these opened up and we will go from there. And we are Back, so let's see. We are going to open this one first. We're going to put that one over to the side. There we go. That one's over to the side. We're going to open up this one. Looks like we're starting off with Bronzor, but first, we have a special card here. Put it to the side right there. And now let's see what we got. Well, we have Bronzor here. Sorry for the glare on the cards with Ram and Speed Dive. Okay, I don't think I have that card. Okay, we have Toxel here with Tight Jaw. Um, that kind of ties into the Toxtricity, I guess. We have Applin with Withdrawal. Okay. We have Galarian Darumaka with Ice Punch. I guess that makes sense. It is the ice variety. Uh, we have Bunnel B with Burrow and Headbutt Bounce. I do like that 3D model, though. That's a really nice 3D model. Well, we have Cramorant here. This is a holographic card. Um, it's kind of hard to read here. It looks like it has Dive and Hydro Pump. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. Yeah, Dive there and Hydro Pump. I do like that picture, too. Sorry for the glare. Um, here we have Diggers B with Mining Rush and Headbutt Bounce. So wait a minute, both Bunnel B and Diggers B have Headbutt Bounce. Except this one does 60 more damage. Okay. We have Electric Energy or Lightning Energy, however you want to say it. We also have Twin Energy, which is really good apparently. And we have Phalanx with Call for Family and Team Attack. And I think this is the last one. We have Masquerade with Threatening Pattern and a U turn. I'm aware of the U turn move. A lot of people use that. It's kind of like Baton Pass. Anyways, I'm going to put these back in the sleeve here and we will go from there. Okay, we move that one up back up there and we have this one down here now. Let's see what we got. Um, okay, like this. Put the little sleeve thing up there. We've got a special card right here. We're going to put that little guy up there. There they are. And let's see what we got here. We have Voltorb here with Continuous Tumble. That is basically retro, actually. I believe the first Voltorb card had Continuous Tumble. Or it's kind of common with, with the Volt. It's round, so it rolls, of course. So we have Nose Pass here with Tackle and rolling tackle. So there's continuous tumble, rolling tackle, and tackle. Okay. We have wind goal, pico, with um, collect and wave splash. Makes sense. We have phantom with um, dark guidance and seed bomb. It does make sense. It is. I <laughs> Isn't it originally a dark? Grass type. 
So you have Dark Guidance here, which is a dark type move, and Seed Bomb, which is a grass type. So that, that, that seems legit. We have Bronze over here with Ram and Speed Dive, which sounds familiar because I know we had Ram and Speed Dive Bronze Ore in the other. Ooh. Hello. We have, um, this is, um, Electabuzz. This is a holographic Electabuzz with Knuckle Punch and Electro Slug. So, I think that's like Thunder Punch. Wouldn't Electro Slug be another name for Thunder Punch? Because you're slugging someone with an electrified fist. Hmm. That's my, that's just my opinion, though, probably. I'm probably wrong. We have Toxtricity here, which is kind of ironic because we had G-Max Toxtricity on the cover here on the sleeve. It's really rare that happened. I did once get Charizard, though, that way. Um, anyways, uh, Toxtricity with Poison Shout and Hammer In. I guess that makes sense. Except that looks like, this looks like more like the Amped form. Uh, not the, uh, low, whatever it's called, the other form. Low key, low key, I think it's called low key, actually. The low key form. Took me a while to think of that. And then there's Fighting Energy. And we have Chatot with Lucky Match and Glide. I wasn't aware that Chatot could even fly, but I guess it does. It's based off of McCall, I think. Anyways, uh, we have Dracloak. I honestly didn't even remember what the, na the name of this middle stage evolution even was. I knew of Applin and uh, um, um, I, I can't think of the third stage evolution now, but anyways, um, probably says up there. Anyways, um, evolved from Dreepy. No, it, it, Oh, this is the uh, cloak. I guess this is the third stage evolution. I don't think I've ever actually known what the third stage evolution was, but this is cute though. Oh wait, sorry. See, it's got it's a little baby up there, and it's taking a ride. That's cute. Summon and bite. It's cool. And lastly, we have lampant. I think it goes, Chandelure is the um, final evolution. I think it starts off with Litwick. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, looks like it has Top Entry and Reignite. So, yeah. Lampin. Yep, looks like Litwick is right there in the corner. So, yeah. Um, it goes out. I'm getting I'm getting them com kind of completely mixed up. Dracapult. That's it. Okay, I had Applin. My defense, I had Applin, and that line mixed up with the um, Dreepy line. Oh, uh, that's right. Because this is the Ghost Dragon one, and then the other one is the Grass Dragon one. Yeah, I don't really know Gen Eight very that very well. I've never played that game. But, um, so I guess that it goes Dreepy, Drac Cloak, and Dracapult. Which is pretty cool. I do like all the dragon Pokemon. But anyways, we're going to put these cards in the proper sleeve, and we will go from there. We've got all kinds of pretty good cards, so this was a very good, um, card opening. Um, I'll be eventually putting these in my collection, probably. But yeah, um, that's going to do it for this video. If you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I upload. Also, if you want to support me in any way. Or if you want to join the Discord server, all that information will be in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. You are loved, and have a great day.